New rumors reveal possible plot details for the upcoming Star Wars Rey movie. That I know we are all looking forward to. Of course, starring Daisy Ridley and directed by Shamin Obeyed Anoid. Uh, Shanoid. Sorry about that. Lucasfilm President Kathleen Kennedy provided more details to Entertainment Weekly's Dagobah Dispatch. We've been talking a lot about going well into the past, and one of the things that is really knitting this all together, obviously, are the Jedi. What happened to the Jedi over time? Much like history. How did the Jedi evolve? They were wiped out with Order 66, then they gradually have been coming back. The question that we're going to ask with New Jedi Order and with Rey is, does the galaxy need them anymore? Do they want them back? No, 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 no. So there's a lot of food for thought in what we're doing, whether it's in the past, present, or future. And this leak, of course, comes right after we had the director come out saying she's happy that we finally have a Star Wars product that is female centric because we haven't had any of those yet. Wow. Now, look, I don't want to dunk on this woman too much. From all that I've heard, she has made documentary films in the Middle East talking about the oppression of women. In the Middle East, which sounds great. I haven't seen any of those, but it sounds great. It sounds like she actually did something to help women in the Middle East, but she cannot take what she did there and bring it to a product, to an IP that is beloved or was beloved, and think, okay, women are oppressed here too in the West. Maybe not so much, just looking at everything. And you know what? Star Wars had had female directors, female editors, female women involved from the very inception of it. Marsha Lucas edited and changed things in the original trilogy to make them better. This is something that Star Wars fans knows. This is something that we like and we celebrate it. What about all the women that directed anything Star Wars ever? Oh, you're the first female woman to, uh, to direct a Star Wars product? I don't think so. But what do I know? I mean, she just kind of hates women. I mean, one of the first things that I have heard her say was she likes making men uncomfortable. Now, this may have been just something that she thought she needed to say, but it doesn't come across as okay. I didn't mean to make that rhyme. Sorry. Now, of course, we've already had one leak before. The sequel dwells into Rey's courageous endeavor to restore the Jedi Order where she assumes the role of a mentor of two promising young students, a girl and a boy. As her training progresses, it becomes evident that the girl possesses extraordinary abilities destined to emerge as the future leader. Of course, no surprise there, but this is already one that we've already known. So this comes from WDW Pro. Uh, so there are two iterations of the Ray script that I am aware of that I can talk about according to rumor. And those are apparently early on in development. The idea was that Ray would be pregnant with a child and that off screen she would have become pregnant somehow through the force ghost of Kylo Ren. Kill me now. And they would have explained it in a way not presented on screen. They could not have Rey be pregnant with any other person other than 
Kylo Ren, and that was to placate the Raylo fans. Fuck me. Wow, no surprises there, is it? And then the story was going to be pushed forward to when her child was about nine years old, a daughter, and that daughter was going to be training in the new Jedi Temple with Rey and with the other Padawans. That this nine-year-old girl was going to combine the light and the dark and form a new type of Jedi. And then they were going to go and face off against, is it Darth Plagueis? Well, apparently he's going to be back. Somehow Palpatine returned. Oh, come on, use your imaginations. And the second script plot is the one where Disney became involved. That involved Rey and Finn fighting against a villain, a new villain, who was a combination of a Night Sister and a Sith. So a Sith who had learned to take on the powers of the Night Sisters and combine the Force with the magic of the witches. We've already had one of those, but you know, whatever, whatever. Let's let's continue. And that Ray and Finn would be combined together to take on that foe. I'm also told that Grogu would make a cameo in both of these, but that Grogu had been scaled back dramatically due to needing to save him for the Mandalorian movie and because of the change in production and releases related to the strike that were going on. All right, so looking at these scripts, I don't like any of them, but at this point, you know, Disney, do whatever the hell you want with Star Wars. You can have it. That doesn't mean that I'm not going to review it. That doesn't mean that I'm not going to dunk on it. But I want to ask you something. The person viewing. Yes, you. Do you like any of these scripts? If you do, that's fine. That's totally okay. I just don't think that can make any of them work. But let me know down in the comments below what you think of these scripts. Or, hey, do you have an idea for a script that, you know, might be able to even turn Star Wars around? Even with the Rey character involved? Let me know down in the comments and we can talk about it. You know, we might do another video if there are some cool ideas and I might come up with some cool ideas on my own. Maybe, you know, I, I'm not a fan of the trilogy that Disney made. I'm, I'm just not. But do I think that if they gave it to someone good that it could be turned around, even keeping those within the same universe without, you know, having to decanonize something. Yeah, I think it's, I think it would be possible, but the script would have to be great. Anyway, let me know down in the comments below your thoughts. I'd like to hear them. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know last time I said I'm coming back. I'm really coming back this time. My courses are over with. I've passed them 100 points each time. So that's great. I'm looking forward to doing videos again and this is the first one i've done since coming back so hey if you're new here and you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and hit that subscribe button you know smash the like button as well and hey if you do subscribe hit the bell for notifications i know i got this all turned around but who cares you know what to do and i'm out until next time take care